The Grand Cherokee is a Jeep, a big American SUV wearing an iconic American badge. Compared to rivals like the BMW X5, the Mercedes-Benz ML and the Land Rover Discovery, the Grand Cherokee looks bluff and almost utilitarian. But a recent makeover has added class and tech to this all-terrain stalwart. The US motor industry has gone through some tough times over the past few years and automakers like Chrysler in particular have had to wade through troubled waters. And yet the Jeep brand has remained the perennial symbol of the true American spirit. This is Jeep's Grand Cherokee, its large full-size SUV and as the folk back in Auburn, Michigan would say, it's just gone through a thorough makeover. In styling terms, this new Grand Cherokee isn't really that new. Much of the big 4x4 wagon silhouette and appearance has remained unchanged, which creates a sense of easy familiarity when you approach the beast for the first time. Thus, the shape is boxy and angular in a macho utilitarian kind of way, even though the corners have been softened somewhat. Add the tall stance, the bluff surfaces and the big wheels, and you have a straight shooter SUV with none of the haughtiness that earmarks so many of its European rivals. So, what's different about the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee? Most of the obvious changes to the front of the car, where you'll find slimmer high-tech headlights with daytime running lights, a more prominent squatter seven-slot grille, a brand new bumper, and also a different bonnet. More changes to be found at the rear, mainly the taillight clusters and the bumper there as well. But for the rest, you'll have to get inside the car. What has been retained are the high waistline, the relatively narrow glass areas and the big wheels, which are handsome five-spoke alloys in this instance, shod with road-biased rubber. Relatively short overhangs and a decent ground clearance suggest that off-roading is very much on the big Jeep's agenda. It has both the horsepower and the hardware to tackle anything from country roads and mild gravel to serious off-road conditions. And despite its fancy pants exterior and lavishly appointed cabin, it's clear that the Grand Cherokee still remains a genuine Jeep at heart, which means it isn't scared of the rough stuff. Jeep is particularly proud of the cabin of the new Grand Cherokee, and rightly so. It's certainly light years ahead of its predecessor. And pride of place here goes to the two brand new displays, one in the center console, the other one in the instrument binnacle, and both of them making life behind the wheel a lot more intuitive. And I have to say that both the fit, the finish, and the trim here is a lot better than before. The interior appointments are a lot more stylish, with a dash of European understatement that is almost Scandinavian in its elegance. The leather upholstery features carefully executed stitching, and the natural grain wood trim's finish is matte rather than glossy and gaudy. Interior space is adequate, but the bulky front bucket seats and the relatively narrow side glass can make the rear bench seat feel more cramped than it actually is. Fortunately, a full-length panoramic roof adds welcome light and air. A motorized tailgate provides access to a cargo compartment with 782 litres of luggage space when packed to roof height and more than 1,500 litres with the rear seats folded flat. That's plenty of space for families on extended holiday trips or even overland expeditions. In dynamic terms, this 3.6 overland isn't short of Brio, but there are some caveats. The 3.6 litre V6 Pentastar engine in this vehicle is the smallest of the three on the options list, but small only because the other two are large V8s. On paper, the performance certainly looks promising. 210 kilowatts of maximum power linked to 347 newton meters of torque. With a curb mass in the region of 2.3 tons, the Grand Cherokee needs every kilowatt of the V6 engine's urge, and it can feel wheezy and slow to respond. You sit high in armchair-like comfort in the cabin of the Jeep Grand Cherokee with a commanding view of your surroundings, which is useful, obviously off-road, but on-road as well. In terms of performance, that V6 feels powerful enough, although you really need to work the throttle to make the most of it. The claimed performance figures credit this vehicle with an 8.3 second nor 100 time and a top speed in excess of 200 kilometers an hour, and both of those feel quite feasible. But really, for me, this is all about cruising and about maintaining a nice consistent speed and that's when this vehicle literally eats up the kilometers. 
The claimed combined cycle consumption figure is 10.4 litres per 100 kilometres, but in reality 17 litres per 100 kilometres is a more realistic expectation. Open road cruising should see that drop to between 11 and 12 litres. Once you swap tar for gravel, the off-road heritage of the Jeep comes into play and it really is very, very competent. Of course, it also has the right hardware, full-time four-wheel drive, air suspension, which allows a ride height of up to 280 millimeters and a terrain select device, which will fine-tune elements like the steering, the suspension, the braking, the throttle response, depending on the particular setting you choose. You can also, of course, leave it in automatic and let the vehicle almost do itself. If you really get to the rough stuff, there's low range and then you can truly crawl over amazing obstacles without the slightest of problems. There is no mechanical diff lock though, the Jeep relies on an electronic version which allows more wheel spin initially but is eventually effective enough. It's tempting to consider this latest Grand Cherokee as little more than a facelift. But the list of improvements and updates is an extensive one, ranging from the sharper looks and the smarter cabin to the high-tech instruments and the driver assistance systems. It's still quite an unwieldy vehicle, especially around town, and it could be a bit more responsive in terms of performance, but it is supremely competent on and off the road with the comfort and the luxury to match. The Pentastar V6 has to sing for its supper given the Jeep's hefty curb weight, but progress is swift enough on and off-road, assisted by a smooth auto box and excellent 4x4 system. Add the updated styling, lavishly appointed cabin and high-tech ergonomics, and the latest Grand Cherokee shines where it really matters. Don't believe those fuel consumption figures though.